Hot and hazy day, folks. We got some wildfire smoke moving through statewide for Montana and Wyoming. That is going to be causing some reductions, but in both visibility and air quality. Now, this morning, we have been seeing a passing frontal system. No milkshake in hand this morning, Ian. But when it comes to agriculture, this weather is definitely affecting us. It is, Bradley, and it has affected production a little bit at Willow's Huckland, a shop that's all things Huckleberry up in Hungry Horse, Montana. Now, I looked into this a little bit, and according to the Division of Agriculture and Natural Resources, crops like fruit and vegetables from those huckleberries to tomatoes shrink when dry. So what does that mean for the future? Creates a little bit of a cause for concern, specifically that those huckleberries don't turn into raisins. Because it's really not ripe yet, so this heat is actually ripening them up. And uh, if we get a rain even in 10 or 14 days, it could all still work out really good. Now, this is how Willow's Huckland picks those huckleberries and brings them in. James also mentioned that these heat waves can drive up the price of huckleberries when the wild berries dry up and shrink because of the heat. James said that the heat could have been worse on a year where a harvest was early. And James ranges from buying those huckleberries locally to getting down in the mountains and bushes to bring them back for his pies and milkshakes. So still fortunate that this that this harvest was when it was, but also there is that cause of concern in the future. If there isn't rain, they don't want those huckleberries to shrink, to turn into raisins. However, James told me he's putting a positive spin on it. It's only affected production a little bit, but still just something to keep an eye on moving forward. Reporting live, Ian Alvano, Nonstop Local.